Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car. Today with the Volkswagen ID Life. This small car was the big star at the Munich Auto Show this autumn. And now we're here in Wolfsburg at the secret test track of Volkswagen and getting a first glimpse on that design show car. And we get the chance to drive. It's still a concept. It will still take four years until the car hits the market. But at least it gives us an idea how Volkswagen is expanding its ID model line towards the accessibility, towards the lower segment and towards a price target of 20,000 euros. So if you want to know more about this car, the smart ideas and the way it drives, join me on my test drive here at Thomas Geiger Car. The ID Life offers an interior that we've never seen at Volkswagen before. So clean, so sleek and so sustainable. Because again, we have lots of sustainable materials, wood, recycled fabrics, no leather at all. And we have a totally reduced operating and maneuvering system. Even the steering wheel is only half the size. There are no conventional buttons anymore and there are no displays anymore. There is one little indicator in the center of the steering wheel and all the rest is done with a head-up display. And if I want to, with my smartphone. But Volkswagen has not only thought about what to do while the car is driving. No, it offers also some fun while you're sitting. The seats are very flexible. You can fold them down. You can have them as a bed or you can have them as a TV seating position and once you touch the button of your smartphone you activate a very cool infotainment system. No fancy displays, no expensive speakers but the first in-car built Beamer with a big screen. So Hollywood is coming into your compact car in just 14 seconds. Then the screen comes up, behind that screen there is a Beamer and then you can easily choose whatever you want to see. Do you want to see the last football match? Do you want to have some games played? It's all up to you. And once you're done with all that, you just go back, close the screen, cinema time is over and we're back to driving. The design of the exterior is a bit overdone and the interior is either very puristic or very futuristic. Depends on your point of view. But no matter what, it is far away from any serial production. The only thing that is pretty close to the actual car that will come in four years is the technology underneath that beautiful and cool looking skin. Because the ID Life and the upcoming ID1 or ID2 will also base on the MEB architecture, just in a stripped down way. That means Volkswagen has for the first time moved the motor from the back to the front to save some weight and some costs for the wiring and the cooling, for example. The motor itself is still pretty strong for such a small car. It has 172 kilowatts equals to 234 PS and that's way more than we for example know from a Polo GTI. Delivers driving specs that you would not expect from a car of that size. 0 to 100 in less than 7 seconds for example. And while the ID3 and the ID4 is limited to 160 km per hour, Volkswagen is giving this car a go up until 180 km per hour. The power for that drive comes from a battery mounted in the floor hosting 57 kilowatt hours that delivers a range of about 400 kilometers. That's pretty much for a car of that size and I would assume to lower the cost they will sacrifice on range to get the car done in a proper way. If you see the ID Life for the first time you might be reminded on the Honda e which is somehow not the best news for Volkswagen but on the other hand it's closing the loop because the Honda e somehow was inspired by the first Volkswagen Golf. But for a Volkswagen itself it looks really cool and modern 
and much fresher than the actual ID models. Size-wise, the car is four meters and nine in length, which means it has almost the Polo size. It is a bit raised, like a proper SUV, giving you more ground clearance for the bumps of the city. And it has an extended wheelbase, almost two meters seventies, since all the MEB electric architecture hosts the technology in the flat floor. You have way more room in the front and the back. You can spread the axles and that gives you more space on the rear seat. Talking about space, the car has a frunk. It's the first ID model with a frunk. Almost 70 liters underneath here. You have more than 400 liters of trunk space and you have some modularity. Since the car is designed with the idea of sustainability in mind, it hosts a lot of new material. There is no classical coating and there is this bubble wrap foil that you know from some letters built from recycled PET bottles. That is used for the front lid and that is loose, used for the targa top. Just open two zippers, fold down the foil and you're sitting under the bright blue sky. Thanks for joining me on that first drive with the new Volkswagen ID Life. That will be the ID1 or the ID2 when it hits the market in about four years. I think this small car really has a great future because it makes electric mobility more accessible, at least for the Volkswagen customers. But on the other hand, with a price target of 20,000 euros, it is definitely not the cheapest car on the market, a role that Volkswagen has left long since. So the real cheap cars will come from China, will come from Eastern Europe. And this car is definitely not a game changer, but this car will keep Volkswagen in the game at least.